What is up everybody? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Mythbusters video. And today guys, what we're going to be talking about is kind of a a side project from the Mythbusters that we did yesterday which had to do with overall ratings of players. And this is kind of pretty much I guess right in line with that. And uh, the reason that we're doing this Mythbusters today is because people had commented in my previous video that I needed to actually go in and look at some players that were lower overall because yesterday Yesterday, what we were looking at was specifically these positional hero sets that are now in the game with James Ahedigbo and and uh, other players as well. So uh, those players, we we did determine based off of the original Madden game. If you input the attributes from the card into Madden, the the non Ultimate Team, just you know, go in and edit the player in, in the Manage Rosters area. We did determine that those players are indeed 99 overall, both in Ultimate Team as well as in the real game. So, now what I wanna do today is do something, like I said, that you guys had commented, which was taking players that were lower overall, so not 99 overall players, and kind of looking at what their attributes do when we take them out of Ultimate Team and place them into the standard Madden game. So, without further ado, what we wanna do, again, is find out if player attributes remain the same between regular Madden and Ultimate Team. So that's the myth, let's get into it. Now in order to test this myth, what we need to do is go in to the edit player menu within the player management tool, and we're gonna be taking a look at Denard Robinson here, Jacksonville Jaguars running back. He is 61 overall on his bronze item, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change all of the attributes on his standard Madden player to match the back of that bronze card. So all the attributes will be exactly the same as they are on the card, and we're gonna take a look here and see if he actually is still 61 overall. So here it is. We're going to swipe up to the top and boom, he's 65 overall in regular Madden. Interesting. Not exactly what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting to see that the ultimate play, ultimate team players, excuse me, would be higher than the regular Madden players. But that's not how it is. At least not on this Denard Robinson item anyway. So... Let's go in and take a look at another player, and we're going to go over now to the silver player category, and we're going to take a look at cornerback Kyle Fuller of the Chicago Bears, and this is actually going to give me an opportunity for a second here to talk about this card in particular, the man defense version of Kyle Fuller. This card is actually going for about 15,000 coins, so if you have it, be sure to hop on there and sell that thing on the auction block or put it in the set, but... Let's take a look here and see if the player matches the overall that we had, and it does in this case. Interesting. 72 overall in Ultimate Team, 72 overall in Regular Madden. Very, very interesting. The same exact overall attribute. So apparently for the running back position, it doesn't really translate, or at least in Denard Robinson's case, it didn't. But in the cornerback position, it translated exactly identically to being the same overall. Very, very interesting. I was kind of expecting that if there would be a uh, drop-off in one position, that it would also happen in other positions. But apparently not. Now we've looked at both the silver category as well as the bronze category of players. Now let's get into the gold category and we're going to take a look at Dallas Cowboys middle linebacker Rolando McLean and let's see what his attributes do. We start off with an 88 overall player in Ultimate Team and let's see what he ends up at as a regular Madden player. And 90. Interesting. Again, not consistent with the first two that we did. The first one, Denard Robinson went up by four. The second one, Kyle Fuller stayed the same. And then this one goes up by two. Now we haven't seen anything drop yet as far as attributes go from Ultimate Team over to the uh, regular version of Madden. But it is interesting that we're not getting a consistent number as far as the overall is going up or down. So now, last but not least, let's take a look at an elite item. And this is gonna be the Road to the Playoffs Drew Brees and he is 93 overall to start on this card. So let's go in here and edit the player just like we have for the other ones, and let's see what he ends up at when we match the attributes on the back of his card to what's actually in a standard Madden player. Now, one thing that I thought was interesting is that it suddenly changed not only his overall here 
as you see it go up to a 99. This is a 93 card, guys, but the attributes in regular Madden make it a 99 overall. But I also thought it was kind of interesting that it suddenly changed him from being just a standard pocket passer to now he is a scrambling quarterback based off of his speed. Not that that really has anything to do with uh, with Ultimate Team, but thought that was kind of interesting as well. But there you have it, guys. Drew Brees goes from a 93 to a 99. So we saw Rolando, Mc Rolando McLean went up two, and Kyle Fuller stayed the same, and Denard Robinson went up four, and Drew Brees went up six. So there is obviously a huge discrepancy between the player in a, an ultimate team card form and what he actually would show up as if we were playing the standard game of Madden. Okay, guys, so there you have it. It is indeed true that players do change between ultimate team and regular Madden. Unfortunately, we have no idea what the criteria is for de determining what the overall is on a player in Ultimate Team. Obviously, we can go in and edit the players within the regular Madden and actually go in and mathematically determine which attributes are most important. But unfortunately, in Ultimate Team, we don't have the ability to go in and edit the players. So, unless Madden actually decides to put out a guide that tells us which attributes determine the overall attribute of a player in Ultimate Team, we might never know. Sucks, but that's just the way things go in EA sometimes. I mean, they're, they're kind of a secretive company when it comes to stuff like this. So unfortunately, this myth, like I said, is confirmed. It is true. Player attributes do change between Ultimate Team and the standard game of Madden. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this, this shorter episode of Madden Ultimate Team Myth Mythbusters. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below and also give the video a thumbs up if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.